show, so let's bring them out here. We have Eliza Taylor, Bob Morley, and creator and executive producer Jason Rothenberg. Hey guys, all right, let's hey, give it up hey, for them again. Hey. Come on. Hello. Yeah. Hey guys. This is so exciting. How are you guys today? Good. Yeah, pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a huge turnout here, and this is just really, really cool. And I know the end of last season, I mean, it kind of left us feeling, uh, it was very emotional. Yeah. You know, lots we of tears. Lot. Am I right? Yeah. It was well, a very sad day on, on it was set. actually yeah. the first time I've ever had to cut tears out of a sequence. Oh, like, no. Everybody we was were emotional. actually, like, super, we, we were losing, you know, two of our original cast members, so it was a really... Yeah, it was a very heavy day. Heavy I mean, day. Um, yeah. there was actually one, I don't know if you mind me saying this, <laughs> but there was <laughs> one... <not. laughs> there was one take that me and Eliza were doing, and everyone's there, it's very emotional, and you can hear a... You can hear a grown man crying from behind the monitors, <laughs> and it was Jason. Yeah. It was very... Yes, I was. I was crying. We had our, like, AD read Monty's part because we knew that as soon as we had Chris read it, these guys were going to, like, you know, turn on the waterworks, and it didn't matter. The AD made me cry. Yeah, yeah. no, it was, it was, it was, a, AD, it was so. a special day, that's for sure. And, and speaking of tears, you know, let's actually show a clip from, uh, from last okay. season. Can you see it? Is it beautiful? It is in my dreams. I hope we do better there. I hope Jasper was wrong, and we aren't the problem. I hope your lives there will be as happy as mine has been. Be the good guys. May we meet again. Absolutely emotional, guys. How about that finale? I mean, I see a few tears in the audience here, but oh. I, I am so curious. I mean, how is Bellamy and Clark's relationship going to be changing next season? And they have to discover a new planet now. What, are, what can we expect from that as well? A lot. A lot. <laughs> I, ironically, even though we're jumping 125 years in the future, things pick up emotionally right where they left off because it's as if, well, first of all, these guys did wake up and it's as if they went to bed the night before and woke up the next morning, you know? Yeah. Whereas last year we did the six-year time jump and everybody missed a big chunk of everybody else's lives. Bellamy had a girlfriend, Clark had a daughter, you know. This yeah. season we pick up right where we left off. And what can we kind of expect maybe uh, from your guys' characters and... Relationship. Uh, certainly. Well, I mean, there's a lot of exciting new pairings that are happening. Yeah, true. Like exciting and un unexpected groups of people to pair together. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, I'm facing something that is very challenging that I'm not allowed to talk about, but it is, uh, it's definitely <laughs> huge. I feel okay. like this show is racking up deaths like it's Game of Thrones or something. I, I mean, can we even call it the 100 anymore? No, there's no, like it's four like people left the 100. Four? Yeah. The, the four. four. I mean, yeah. that's, I think that's what we should go with. Was there a certain death that specifically, like, hit you the hardest? Ah. Uh, Gosh, I mean, so many. Charlotte, like, probably for me. Charlotte. Oh, man. That was season one, episode three. Yeah. No, four. <laughs> what was it, four? Yeah, episode four. Gotcha. Charlotte. Yeah, no. Um... Yeah, I mean... I, I, I would have to say for me, it's Chris and Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, losing two of our, like, our, yeah, main characters, like, you know, really good friends of ours and... Losing Devin as well was yeah. really... That, like, we cried a lot that, that night. Yeah, just a lot of, like, friends of yours. I know you're going to see them, but it's just also... Yeah. You're not going to go through a whole season with them, you know, like, you know, side by side, so that was a bit tough. Yeah, I mean, we know when we're going to kill a character... And that Lexa, it yes. <laughs> I, I was saying, when a character dies, when we make the choice to kill a character, it affects their lives as 
as Bob and Eliza too, because they're losing a friend on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So yeah. it sucks, it's hard. That's a very hard conversation always. Yeah, all of these characters have gone through so many hardships. So what does a happy ending look like? Oh gosh, you got me there. Um, <laughs> what does a happy uh, ending look like? I mean, I guess you, I don't know. What's a win in your eyes, Jason? I felt like the ending of last season was what yeah. a happy ending looks like. It was pretty yeah. hopeful. Yeah. It was yeah. nice as opposed to like yeah, what we I usually mean, do. We've turned the page. It's a new story. It's a new world. There's, you know, we're not playing with the same theme of uh, whatever it takes to survive. Mm -hmm. It's much more about trying to fulfill Monty's wishes for them of doing better and being better. It's going to be hard to do that. Survival will always be an issue for sure, but um, I won't say it's more hopeful, but they encounter some things in this new world that will be surprising that we can't talk about. Oh, so, of sorry. course. Well, let's talk about last season. When you guys were reading the scripts, was there one moment that you were reading and just your mind was blown? Probably the ending for me. Yeah, the ending was yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, think I told you. I don't think I told them about what no, the we didn't was know. before the script came out. Yeah. So. I, yeah, I think I might have heard from yeah. Chris, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was yeah. that. I, I also thought, um, uh, like, we we kind of heard rumors of the uh, cannibalism for a while. Oh, yeah. That, but then when I actually uh, saw, like, the <laughs> gelatin human it flesh. It was so, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and Ian's a, is a vegetarian. Henry Ian's a vegetarian. Is he? So. I didn't yeah. know. Oh, no, he's a he's pescatarian. A pescatarian. He's, a pescatarian. <laughs> he's almost full vegetarian. He's a yeah. pesca pescatarian. He only eats fish that eat other fish. Oh. Yeah. That's a pesca pesca? He's a pe pesca pesca? <laughs> Henry Ian's a pesca pesca. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, the, the cannibalism was definitely hard to read and then watch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the worst kept secret of the season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. you guys have to choose one person to rebuild humanity with. Who do you choose? Like me, is it my, myself? You like, yeah. You, it doesn't matter. Your in character the show or, or in your the character world? or just in the world. It wouldn't be Donald Trump. <laughs> no, oh. that's true. Uh, I'm not touching that one. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Gosh, question. I don't know. There's still, like correct answer. You I just mean, say if Clark. I had to go like within the show, oh, yeah. let's let's go. Let's, like, let's keep it within that realm. Yeah. Uh, rebuild the world. I mean, I was gonna say I Becca, think... but she she's very good at destroying them. That's true. Yeah. I yeah, think I Murphy. Who oh, I? Murphy. He d he never dies. Never dies. True. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, he'd keep things interesting for sure. That's sure, keep it spicy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, McCreary. McCreary? Oh. Yeah. yeah, him too. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Him, the, both of those guys <laughs> for me. Yeah, there, there are so many shows doing crossovers these days. Not no? no. <laughs> but if you ever did do a crossover, what show oh. would you want to cross over with? I reckon we should go with Brooklyn Nine-Nine for Sam. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. 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 That would be fun. That yeah. would be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. We could get Clark and Bell and me as buddy cops. and oh, oh, yeah. Like, I want to work with Peralta. Yeah. yeah. Me and Jake Peralta. Yeah. Solving crimes. He's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I love that show. <laughs> well, the show has literally traveled through time and space. Did you ever think that this world could become such a large universe? Yeah, I mean, when we started, it was definitely sort of experiencing it. When we, sorry, thank you. I, this is new to me. Um, when we started, it was looking at the world through their eyes, like through a keyhole, and all we saw was that keyhole. But we knew if we were lucky enough to get to keep making the show that we would expand it outward and begin to bring in other perspectives. And what we always try to do, obviously, is, is show the story from the bad guy, for lack of a better word's point of view. And by doing that, you're sort of widening your, your scope and building out the world. So you can expect a similar kind of idea as we do book two, as we begin to see this world from their po points of view at the beginning and then meet others and then begin to see and find out about, you know, what's happened in that world. So. Yeah. And with a universe so big, I mean, if you stop killing off characters and destroying yeah. planets... There's still a think... lot of characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you think there'd ever be a spin-off of The 100? Spin-off? Uh, well, we, we're talking about... We're definitely talking about a prequel, which is taking place at the beginning of the apocalypse. But Ooh. it'll be interesting, I think. Um, 
But no, I don't think so. But we're not in it, right? We're not in it? Yeah. Well, whatever. great grandpappy whatever, Blake. Right. Great great grandpappy Blake is in it. Oh, okay. Clark's great great grandmother and mother. Oh. Do, do I play her? That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be now, weird, now, now you've piqued my interest. Tell me more. Well, I know you guys can't give away any spoilers. Everything's pretty under wraps for next season. But what can you tell us that can get us hyped for next season? I'm going to leave this all in Jason's hands uh, because what? there is so much we can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is really, we're guarding it very closely. I don't want anything to get out. I want it to be a surprise for oh, people. Do you want to tell them, Jason, our secret? What's our secret? <laughs> oh, you've forgotten. Yes, tell us. <laughs> Which secret? <laughs> about, about me doing a thing. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, Jason's letting me direct an episode this year. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, I'm Congratulations. So okay. Yes. Uh, We're putting him behind the camera. He's always been someone who has a lot of ideas. I'm and annoying, his, basically. His, yeah. So I finally said, if you think you could do this, go ahead and do it. So <laughs> is that what it is? No. It's a challenge? Yeah, no, it's okay. gonna be awesome. He's a born director. Really, he is. Uh, thank you. Guys, unfortunately, we are out of time here today. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. So